Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Virgos. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Virgos. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Virgos, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat, loves. Get comfortable. Shout out to the beautiful Virgo Nation gang gang. I hope all has been well, Virgos. And shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the soul tribe gang gang. I appreciate you all so much for your continued us love and support and welcome back to the patreon soul family thank you all so much as well i hope you guys have been enjoying the content just as much as i have soul tribe welcome back to all the beautiful virgos thank you all so much if you're new here welcome again we would love to have you here virgos a part of our soul family all the information is down below in the description box. If you are definitely enjoying the content here, loves, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, be a part of family, and share the content here for who you know this message needs to get out to today, all right? So let's go ahead and dive into your reading here today, Virgos. This week, we are focusing in on the color black. Yes, we're focusing in on protecting our energy at this time as we transition into a new cycle, a new year for ourselves. The color black is great to work with when it comes to absorbing negative energies all right so definitely get your black candle join the energy work that we're doing this week and if you would love more details on how to manifest and use colors because we know colors has a frequency we know colors has a vibration all right so definitely that's something you would love to more learn more about I'm your girl for that, okay? Definitely join the Soul Tribe where I do have a private content for the Soul Tribe where I can go more into details with each color that we transition to each week. So if you're new here, keep up with the community tab. That is where I post the new color that we work with every week and also any updates to the platform here as well loves all right so let's go ahead and get into your messages here virgos we're first going to start here with an oracle message here from your guardian angels and your ancestors here seeing and checking in with you spiritually here for this week to see what needs to be said and aware of for you virgos and definitely stick around loves we're definitely going to dive here into your love life today yes all right we're going to see what's coming towards you here for the cycle of 2023 all right, we're going to see what's coming towards you for romance. Yes, we're going to see what's coming towards you for romance here in the month of January and moving forward in the future there. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here. Let's get into your Oracle message. Ooh, we have it's time to release negative energies, Virgos. Wow. Full moon in Scorpio. All right, so the full moon in Scorpio is very significant. Something may have taken place here already with the full moon in Scorpio. Some of you all, this may happen during the next full moon in Scorpio. All right, but we know Scorpio energy definitely talks about making, allowing, or excuse me, ending cycles. Yes, thank you, spirit. Ending cycles that no longer resonate with your spirit and your higher selves here, Virgo, at this time. So I feel a lot of you all are cleansing out energies. You're removing yourself from people, places, or any situation or circumstances here, Virgos. I feel that you now know is no longer resonating for you, all right? And it's crazy how we are ironically working with the color black here as i mentioned using the color black is a great color for protection when you're wearing the color black and it also again helps you to absorb negative energies in your space in your area so a lot of this is going around with this energy of this oracle card here releasing negative energy so this is a great time to work with the color black this week okay so there's no accident or no coincidence definitely if you're new here this is your first time tuning in here today all right definitely time for you to clean out any people or places or circumstances that you don't want to be around no more that you feel that your spirit is guiding you to remove yourself from it's because of there is negative energies or these people may be having bad intentions here towards you virgo at this time so for this for me it's come almost like a warning okay it's time to release negative people negative energies negative situations 
negative circumstances. If people around you and you know they don't have good intentions for you, Virgo, it's time to let them go. This is a warning. This is a sign. This is a message. Come on now, spirit. That's a message for you, okay? We know the Scorpio energy talks about putting things to an end. There is a new cycle, a rebirth of yourself here I see as well, Virgo. So energies are not welcome to go here with you wherever it is that you're going or wherever it is that your spirit guides and your ancestors here is trying to lead you to. Okay, so wow, powerful message there, loves. Definitely if that's something that interested you, I do offer this to the Patreon Soul Family where I go more into details with each individual soul family there where I do this once a month. I do a check-in with all the Patreon members where I go more into details with your Oracle message. We dive into your birth chart, learning your life path number and figuring out what you need to do to get yourself on track spiritually mentally and emotionally so definitely that's something that you would love to assist in that area i'll be more than happy to help you i do provide this session free for all patreon members where we go and we discuss in regarding their birth chart and how the message is relating to them at the time i also offer free questions for each and every time I go live for all Patreon members. And you also get early access to all the content that I post here as well, Virgos. All right. So Jeff, if you would love to be a part of our soul family, all that information is down below in the description box, my loves. All right. So let's now dive into your love life. Let's see what's coming towards you for love. Ooh, we have the nine of cups here. All right. This is water element here. Some of y'all, you could be engaging here with a water sign here in the future of 2023. All right. For love, we have Count Syrian, Pisces, and Scorpio energy here. All right. We know the Nine of Cups here is all things that have been wished for fulfillment for you. All right. Things that have fulfilled your soul purpose and what it is that you are happy and love doing here. Okay. So I feel like you guys are at this point now that, again, I feel like the last step here for you to do or to close out this cycle here as we're going into a new cycle, right? For 2023 was to release all negative energies from people, places, and situations that have been around you because you're representing the number nine. You're at your highest state of being here at this time, okay? So you're definitely editing out situations and circumstances here I feel that no longer resonates with you. That's beautiful, Virgos. Yeah, we have the three of swords here, air element here. Some of y'all, this is an air sign here that you may have been engaging here with in the past here all right this could be aquarius a gemini or a libra here we know the air element is representing the mental state of your mind all right these are your thoughts here and things that you have realized through these experiences here with whomever this may be okay we know the three of swords also talks about your heart being broken here you being portrayed because of a situation or a circumstance here okay so this is how this particular person or energy here also i feel like whoever you may be engaging here with is currently processing or transitioning from as well as you are virgos yeah we have the knight of cups here all right oh, excuse me the king of cups here all right so this is again that is scorpio energy here okay so scorpio may be very significant here some of y'all may have scorpio placements in your chart as a rising a venus or a moon all right, others of you all here, this particular person here could be a Scorpio that you are engaging here with or was in a relationship here with in the past here that may have portrayed you on some type of level here. And through this experience here again, now you're realizing this is why you're releasing this person could have a negative energy or way about doing things that have affected your love life here and you're deciding to release this person due to their negative energies and situations and choices that they have made to have affected their relationship here and cause pain here virgos for this relationship here let's see what else yeah we're at the number 10 the number 10 represents completion all right closing out a cycle so some of y'all may be seeing 10 10 Okay, repeatedly here that is informing you that there is a cycle that has closed out and you're going into a new cycle. So there is also for some of you all, you have passed a karmic cycle here or a test, all right, that you were here to learn a valuable lesson here for. And because of that, this is definitely going to set you up in the future because you now know how to use your discernment when it comes to 
particular people or situations or circumstances here they have portrayed you here in the past you now understand your worth you know who you are and now you know how to move moving forward here right let's see what else here wow look at that we have the queen of wands this is fire energy here all right some of you are this particular person here might be a sagittarius a leo or an aries here okay for whoever this particular energy here is for you all right others you are you may have these placements in your chart as well but i feel like if i'm speaking to a feminine energy here or a masculine energy here you are now taking back control of your life okay you're stepping in the queen of one energy here and you're being creative and again because as i mentioned you are closing out a cycle here that you've learned a valuable lesson here from through this experience with this particular mate or this could even be a loved one or a friend. Something here that caused pain here to you in the past here and this particular person here. They're now understanding who they are and how they want to continue their life living in a abundant or balanced lifestyle here. Okay. And definitely with this queen of wands energy here, you're now recognizing this opportunity and what you may have been missing out on as you find yourself releasing negative energies around you here okay wow this is beautiful virgos yeah look at that we have here the knight of pentacles here there is your energy virgos okay we have virgo capricorn and taurus energy here some of you on this particular person may be an earth sign here all right but we know the page of pentacles talks about learning something new as you can see him here studying okay learning something new some of y'all could be going back to school some of y'all could be getting your certification or some type of certificate here for some type of um, knowledge here that you're gaining for yourself here all right because like i said you're now being creative in this queen of one's energy here you're now taking action here when it comes to your life when it comes to what make virgo happy here and you're taking back control of that and you're learning new things here and some of y'all are going to be meeting new people because you're getting on a new frequency and a vibration here now you're going to start introducing yourself to new people that are more like-minded and like you virgos okay and is in the same frequency and vibration of where you're headed here wow this is beautiful virgos definitely loves if the readings here have resonated so far for your spirit and your higher self again we would love to have you here part of family virgos definitely don't forget to like subscribe loves and adjust your notification bell so when i go live here on this platform yes i do go live throughout the week and that's for all zodiac sign readings where you can be more than happy to stop by and get a check-in to see your message for your reading all right so let's see how this particular person or the energies at this time are going to be surrounding you in the year 2023 let's see how they're going to feel towards you or this connection here okay let's see here guardian angels what do we have here what are these people that are around because again we have the three of swords energy here so that tells me that there are other energies and entities that are around you so i want to see and curious how they feel about you at this time here moving forward now that you have closed out a cycle here and making positive beautiful decisions here for yourself let's see how other energies around you feel and I am also available for personal readings, Virgos. Yes, if you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box, my loves. All right. Wow. You are my secret. I'm getting that song. You're my little secret. And that's how we should keep it. We should never let it go. Wow. So someone see you, Virgo, as their little secret, okay? So someone here, I feel like, is keeping you to themselves, okay? Oh, look at that. I want a family with you, okay? So yeah, that could be this new particular energy here that's coming in here. As I mentioned, they could be an earth sign like yourself or a fire sign here, okay? You're my little secret. Yes, that, that song is still playing in my head, Virgos. Let's see what else here. Oh, my goodness. We got I'm waiting outside, Virgos. Okay, so someone here may be waiting outside. Someone is waiting outside. They may want to speak to you or communicate here with you. All right. Someone is definitely wanting to speak with you or, you know, get in contact here with you, I feel. Yeah, because they're seeing you in their dreams. Okay, wow. Some of you are, you may be a distance from this particular person here so they do a lot of thinking about you they do a lot of dreaming about you this could be someone that is you know maybe in another city or another state here this could be within a long distance relationship here okay but this look this person here honey 
they're ready to settle down with you. This person wants to have a family with you, okay? This person here, I feel like, is willing here to do whatever it takes at this time, all right? I feel like some of y'all, this person has recognized who you are and who they want to be here with, okay? I can't make this up. I'm packing my bags, okay? So someone is making a decision here to come towards you here, honey, and they're packing their bags, okay? So as I mentioned, this person could have been in another situation or relationship here where they found themselves not to be happy here. So they're deciding to pack their bags here from this particular relationship or past person here, and they're coming towards you. And again, they could have been keeping you a secret. They could have been packing their bags and getting things together and not letting the other individual or whoever, family, friends, okay, know their plans and what they were doing here. So I feel like for some of you all, this person might surprise you and pop up and say, I'm outside here. Okay, yeah, because this is hurting their soul, honey. Okay, damn, Gina. All right, this hurts my soul. So this hurts this particular person's soul when they're not able to be around you or be with you or talk to you. And I feel like they can't no longer take it with having all these dreams about you. And they just want to be around you and in your energy here, okay? Yeah, you got what I want, okay? Yeah, this person's like, look, Virgos, you got what I want. I'm getting a song, you got what I need, hey. And you say I'm just a friend. And you say I'm just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Okay, yes. Fuck it up, Virgos. Let's see. Let's get one more card here. Wow. Powerful message here again, loves. Definitely if the reading here is resonating, loves. Don't forget to like, subscribe, loves. We would love, love again to have you here part of family. Again, I am available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading, all that information, loves, is down below in the description box, my loves. Wow. Look at this, Virgos. I will text you, all right? I will text you. So this person wants you to know that I will text you, okay? I feel like as soon as this person may be able to get an opportunity to call you, they want you to know that they will be reaching out to you. They will be texting you, okay? So this could have been a long time coming for this particular person here. You may have been communicating with this person here in quite some time, and this person is definitely intuitively thinking about you a lot through their dream space here, but they do want you to know that they are keeping you to themselves. They are planning this here, okay? I'm picking up this energy here of planning this, okay? And they are definitely planning to reach out and contact you as well, Virgos. Wow. Powerful message here, Virgos. Once again, as always, loves. Thank you all so much. Shout out to the Soul Tribe gang gang. Shout out to the Patreon family as well. Thank you all so much, Virgos, for your love and support. I definitely hope this message finds you and this is able to fulfill your soul and give you confirmation that you need it here for yourselves, all right? I love you all, Virgos. And remember, your health is your wealth, Virgos. Bye-bye.